Drug use among teens is a growing problem around the nation. Students at one mid-Michigan high school wanted to make a difference. They told Fox 47's Elizabeth Crenshaw what they're doing to help their classmates realize how dangerous it can be. Almost 11% of Michigan students have used illicit drugs in the past month. That number grabbed the attention of Bree Cole, Brett Haynes, and members of the high school leadership class at Michigan Center High School. They wanted to make a difference. We heard a lot of speakers and a lot of stories, and we figured bringing those stories back here would make a larger impact than just a small group of us going to see the summit. The teens organized a high school drug forum to raise awareness of the dangers of drugs and how they can impact lives. Of them getting worse and worse, that scares me a lot. It reinforces how important it is to let our students know, our children know, uh, this type of information so that they can make good decisions uh, when, when they're posed with these types of situations. The forum brought speakers from around the state. One of them, Phil Pavona, Executive Vice President of Families Against Narcotics, who lost his son Eric to a heroin overdose in 2011. We discovered in 2008, 2009 uh, that he was an addict and uh, had already done a couple of years of college, was an honor roll student. Um, you know, was very uh, responsible, both acting and, and in doing and whatever, and essentially met the wrong people uh, at college and partied with the wrong drug and ultimately became an addict. The loss of his son still haunts him today, but has motivated him to talk about the dangers of heroin and other drugs. I hope they take away that it is real. It's not just something you hear. It's something that affects everybody. It's not just one person or one side of our county. It's all of us working together in the fight against drugs. In Michigan City, Elizabeth Crenshaw, Fox 47 News. Common signs of drug abuse include a change in friends or behavior and a withdrawal from activities.